planning out my spring garden. Before you know it, the entire area that we're looking at is going to be full of green and reds and yellows and purples and I cannot wait. Pretty soon we're going to have a fence to keep you out. It's time to plant potatoes. I've missed the time to plant onions and that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it this year. I'll just find some onions locally to preserve. But I'm out here checking the garden again to see about planting the potatoes. The problem is, is that where I actually wanna put the potatoes, it's still soaking wet. It's still spongy, very, very spongy. And if I put the potatoes there, I run the risk of them rotting out. So I think I'm going to have to change plans if I want to plant potatoes this year. And I do want to plant potatoes because potatoes are part of our stock and I'm out of potatoes. So. I really think that if I'm going to plant potatoes, it's going to have to happen here in the middle of the garden um, where it's taller. Not where I wanted to put it. And I'm measuring some things up, trying to decide where I want to put what plants. Now, right now, I'm in the front of the house. And I'm taking a measurement so that I can determine how many rosella plants I want to put up here. Now, I grew rosella last year, and if you don't know what it is, it's a, it's in the hibiscus family. It's kind of a cousin to the hibiscus and cousin to the okra. And it's actually used to make tea. So if you've ever had any of the red zinger tea or anything like that, that's what it's made out of, that and different spices. Um, it's very good for you. It's good for inflammation, high blood pressure, things like that. So I want to plant enough that I can store and have rosella tea regularly and also maybe, just maybe, uh, dehydrate it and take it to market. So that's what I'm doing. So I pulled a measurement uh, up here and it's 155 feet in the front of my house. And I think this is where I want to put the rosella. Last year I grew several plants in the garden. I think I grew about 12 and they did awesome. Rosella is a big, big plant. You have to have a lot of room. Like they take up, last year I planted them three foot apart and you couldn't walk in between them. So this year I'm gonna plant them six foot apart. They probably got right at about five and a half foot, six foot. And last year I planted the seedlings too early and they sat in the greenhouse. So I was afraid that I, was, I had stunted the growth. So if I did stunt their growth, then that means they would have gotten a lot bigger, right? <laughs> so I'm planning them six foot apart this year. I want to go six foot apart and about six foot away from this fence. So I'm trying to decide. Now here, here's the deciding factor here, what I'm going to do. Do I want to put a bunch of hay down and you know, start a, a, a new bed up here? Or do I want to take the... Um, it's that woven plastic for plants. Um, take that down and put it down and then put my rosella plants in there so I don't have to worry about weeds and I don't have to worry about anybody needing to go back there and mow because you're just not, once the rosella plants get big, you're just not gonna get back there. 
or, and this is where I'm kind of leaning, but I, I want y'all's opinion. I want to know what y'all think. Take and build little bitty individual raised beds for them. Because this area is kind of low. Let me spin y'all around real quick so you can see. We are looking towards the garden and the measurement where I took was from about just on the other side of that wheelbarrow that you see right there. So I'm going to spin around and show you the other side and you see we've got standing water right here and then there's the other side and then um, I took the other measurement I stopped it over there at that uh, fence right there so you can see I don't know if you can tell but it does it is lower over here maybe by about six inches but that six inches means if we have a lot of rain we might have standing water not going to take very much more rain before that standing water is right over here about where I want to put my rosella plants so even looking down and you can see it's it's all low all the way across so that's kind of where we're at do I want to bring hay in and lay hay down knowing that this area is low knowing that this area when it rains lots and lots and lots and which we have had here lately it could um, get super super wet or do I want to bring in individual little raised beds and when I say individual I'm talking like two foot by two foot just enough for the rosella plants by themselves so that's kind of where I'm at not too sure I'm honestly I am leaning towards bringing in 23 individual beds. I don't know yet if I want to grow more rosella and put it into the garden area. Since this area over here on the other side of the wheelbarrow has never been incorporated into anything. Or do I want to turn that into flower beds? lots of decisions <laughs> so that's what I'm out here doing I took a measurement of the garden so that I can start planning out um, and figuring out where everything's gonna go I want to put some um, some arches into the garden this year I think that'll be really pretty I don't want to put too many edibles along this fence line because last year I put um, some grapes in and within 24 hours I'm assuming it was a rabbit ate the grapes down. So I, I, I don't want to put anything up against the fence because I know that whatever is out there can grab and eat my plants. So I, I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Should I bring in three or 23 individual raised beds? What do y'all think? What do you think I should do? Should I chance it and make this a bed area? Oh, and by the way, this guy right here, he loves to play in hay. So if I do put hay down, I'm gonna have to worry about him rolling in the hay and picking the hay up and possibly knocking over my new seedlings. So there's a lot of factors in there. We have the Roscoe factor is one major factor. I think if I do the raised beds, I, I, I'm just, I'm leading towards that. But I wanna see, you guys comment below, what do you think I should do? So I'm going to go put this to paper. I just wanted to come in really quick. This is a super quick vlog. Super, super quick. What do you guys think? Um, I will be planting seeds this week. And some people will probably say I'm behind in this area. But that's okay. I don't feel like I'm behind. All right, y'all. Until we talk again, you guys be blessed. Bye now.